what's up guys, it's Mulex. Um, this video is specific for people with the Uniden BC125 AT scanner, how to install the uh, driver correctly so you could use the programming soft software. Um, a lot of people have trouble with this because it's not your typical driver file. It's not, you know, it's not an EXE file where it's a, you know, a, a Windows application installer where it's just, you know, next, 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 and it th does it all for you. There's a manual, there's manual stuff, um, and, you know, there's, you have to do it a little differently in this case, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pause the video, you're going to go to the description, and you're going to download both of those zipped files, okay? Once you download the zipped files, you're going to unpause the video, okay welcome back and we're gonna go ahead and move forward okay so once you download the two files you're gonna have two files you're gonna have one that says BC 125 ATSS V10300 and you're gonna have one that says BC 125 AT USB driver so just go ahead and quickly right click on those and extract them real quick Okay, always extract zip files. A lot of people uh, look over this for some odd reason. Okay, boom. So now they're up here now. Okay, your SS file is going to show two setup files. You're going to go ahead and run the second one. That installs the actual programming software. And then inside the USB driver one, it's going to show Windows 7 XP. Obviously, even if you're on 10 or 8, you're going to go into 7 and it's going to show a, um, a notepad file so a lot of people say wait what is this this is not a driver this is a this is a you know a notepad so if you open this notepad file you're going to see that it's just a bunch of writing and stuff how is this a driver it is a driver don't worry about it we'll get to it in a little bit so don't think that's wrong it's not a setup file it's a notepad file this is where a lot of people get confused okay so once you go ahead and run your um, run your programming software you're gonna have an icon on your desktop like this this is the actual programming software that is used to read and write to the to the scanner okay so what you're gonna do is just close it out for now and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna plug in your USB cable to your to your scanner when you do this it's gonna pop up and say that it found you know a new device but it's going to say that it wasn't installed correctly. Well, mine did because I've, I've done it before, so it's... I'm trying to uninstall the driver, but for some reason it's not letting me uninstall the driver. But anyway, yours is going to say it wasn't installed correctly. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Device Manager, okay? And as soon as you open this Device Manager, you're going to have under your port com and LPT you're gonna have your BC 125AT but it's not gonna show a com and it's gonna be a little exclamation point next to it that something's wrong and you and it's not installed right you're gonna right click on it go to update driver software you're gonna browse your computer and you're gonna go to your download folder Okay, you're going to go to that USB driver and you're going to click on the Windows 7 folder. You can't click the actual notepad file, just click the folder that it's in. So go to the BC15 USB driver, open the other folder, and just click on the Windows 7 folder. Hit OK. Make sure it includes subfolders. The little box right here, click that box, and you're going to see that it Windows 7, and you're going to hit Next. All right, mine says it's already installed, but yours is going to go ahead and update that driver for you. Once that's done, back in Device Manager, it's going to show that it's there, and it's going to say COM3 or COM1, whatever your computer says. It's probably going to say COM3, okay? Then when you go into your, into your folder here, um, under COM port settings, you're going to see that it says COM3. If it doesn't, just come into here and, and select whatever com that it's in. If the driver is not installed properly, you're not going to be able to select anything from this box. 
once that is done you can go ahead and click scanner read from scanner and you're gonna be able to read from your scanner and in my case it shows all the free channels I programmed the other day it's real easy to do from here um, and then when you're done you hit scanner and you go right to scanner and that's basically how you install the USB drivers um, and whenever you select whatever you fill out here save it this way you don't have to retype it again if you ever want to edit it out you can just load this file and it will load everything back in um, or you could read from the scanner again but I always like to save it I already have it unsaved but that's how you do it guys it's real easy that's the trick when you install it when you plug it in it's gonna say that it wasn't installed correctly you have to go in and select that notepad driver f folder to update to make it pop up correctly here and that's all that's to it it's real easy to do um, even if you have the BC 75 XLT um, you just go get that corresponding um, which I have down here already I have this I got the driver for that one as well um, but uh, the driver I was using was for this one because that's the one I have but it's real easy to do guys it's real easy to do um, I hope this video helps if you have any questions or you, or, you're, or um, conf something's confusing to you, leave a comment and I'll I'll reply to it and try to help you the best I can. Uh, but it's real straightforward. You plug it in like you do any kind of device that you're installing, keyboard, mouse, whatever. It's going to say that it found new hardware, but it's going to say it didn't install right. Go to Device Manager, right-click on it, update the driver, go get the folder, give it the folder with subfolders, boom, it's done and there's nothing to it. So many people have trouble with this saying I don't I can't install the driver, I can't install the driver. Because people think you're actually opening the driver file and clicking next, next, next and then doing it like a like a video card. You know, something real quick and easy like any driver normally would be. But in this case it's different. You have to do it like that. Um, and that's also a good thing because you have access to a lot of settings in the scanner that you can't get to uh, f from the scanner itself or you can I just don't know how but you can up change the way the backlight works you can turn off the beeping you can make the backlight like it's like like my backlight will come on if I hit this button but you can set it to where no matter what button you press the light will come on see mine's not set like that but you could have it set like that um, but yeah you could have it set like that if you want but mine's set by default where it's just you hit the light button and the light comes on but you can have it where no matter if you press any button the light comes on and that's a setting that you could change through the software if you have the software installed but uh... yeah that's pretty much it guys hope the video helps with people that are trying to install the drivers Peace.